There are many ways to recover your device without using a PC. In this video tutorial, we'll explain step I. Step how you can recover your device. Whether it has a screen lock or you've forgotten your Gmail account. First, watch the video tutorial step by step so you don't miss any details and can troubleshoot and recover your device. If you reset or formatted it and it's left with the padlock icon on the top left. If you don't see that padlock, you need to go to the Wi-Fi network settings and skip it. If you don't see the padlock, skip all the following options until you reach the start menu. This will allow you to configure it. But if you still see the padlock, we recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so you don't miss any details and can troubleshoot and recover your device. Okay, with that said, what we're going to do now is connect to a Wi-Fi network to begin the process. We also want to mention that for those who want to try different options, we have several methods, both in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We're always posting new, updated methods. Sorry, different methods from this one. Since we always try to have several ways to recover your device. The first method might not work for you, so we have other methods you can try without needing a PC. We also have a PC method. For those who have a PC, you can do it from there. As you can see, we click here, we click, skip, we click, skip here. We click here, we click, next, and we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now, we're going to get to where the screen lock is, which is what started all this. We changed our screen lock, and after a while, we forgot about it. Then we reset it, we formatted it. And then, we formatted it and now we have the same lock we had before, and now with the additional Google account. For those people, as we said at the beginning of the video, who don't know how to recover it. We recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end. Without missing any details, because sometimes people tell us that the method doesn't work for them. That's why many people don't get it to work because they fast forward through the video and miss some detail from the beginning of the video. We explain what we're going to do and what we need to do to enable the function we're going to use. As you can see, we're here where it all started, the screen lock. Then we reset it, and here it says, now use my Google account. Several people may have forgotten their screen lock. But if they know their Google account, they can add it here. They add their Google account, click next, and then enter their password. From there, you'll have access to configure your device. That would be one of the first options. The second option, as we can see, here is email. Gmail, or phone number. You know that when we create a Google account, we always add a phone number. Also, if you forgot the email address you had, but you you remember the phone number, then you write that phone number. Click next, and then you will receive a recovery code. You're going to add that recovery code. When you add the recovery code, it will give you access to your device. If, let's say, you don't have any of those options, then what I recommend is doing this to enable a function later. We're going to enable a function that will help us a lot. So, we're going to write anything here in the email field. 
We're also going to do the same thing down here. We're going to do everything and click there for about 35 seconds. When those 35 seconds have passed, we're going to apply the following. To access and enter our device, we'll need a SIM card locked with a PIN code. But don't worry, we're not going to enter through Google Maps. Nor are we going to enter through the privacy policy where we used to. Share that information and from there we could also enter through Google Maps. Those updates are completely up to date. We also have a different method, several different methods, so you can access these. Video tutorials. Well, as we said, once those 35 seconds have passed, what we're going to do is apply the process. We're going to apply the process of the SIM card is locked with that PIN code, and you'll see how it will let us in. We're not going to enter through Google Maps as we told you. We're not going to enter there. We're going to enter using this method. What we're going to do now is remove the SIM card. We're going to remove this SIM card. Now, what we're going to do is scroll down here, and as we can see here on the right side, on the left side, we have the month, the day, and the year. We're going to click on it. In some cases, you might trigger an alarm. Well, you lock it again and repeat the process when you get here. What you're going to do is deactivate this option. You're going to click on deactivate. This will enable the function that appears here. We'll see, settings. We're going to click on settings. Then we'll click on the three dots and then click here where it says, share. We'll select the sharing option. When we're here, we'll see, we'll see. Here that it doesn't let us access any options. If you see this, you're not receiving the messages because we need. Here's the message, but it appears. Well, so we're going to click here on Gmail. We're going to click here on skip. We're going to click on add. We're going to select Hotmail. Now it's taken us to this section. So being here, what we're going to do is click here on these options. We're going to click here on share. Let's see. Here we get the little message where we need it. New message. Here we're going to write any number. We select that number. We're going to click here on the little camera that appears here. We're going to take a picture. We take the picture. We click here where it says attach. We click on the picture. We're going to click here on share. Here we're going to look for this Google Maps that appears here. We re going to select it. Now being here, we're going to click on skip. We're going to give these permissions. We're going to click here on cancel and then we click here on the X. We say yes, here it would automatically take us directly to the application itself. Here in the application itself, what we're going to do now is click on the little circle. We click here on settings. We click on settings. We we go here to notifications. Enable these notifications, go back. Verify that they are enabled. Okay, they are enabled. Now we go here where it says location. We go to OK, accessibility. We go to accessibility and we will enable it as well. We go back. We go here where it says lock. Google location settings. Here we are going to select this option where it says all. This is the option we are going to select all. It doesn't show anything here. But since we enabled this option from the beginning of the video, we are going to go here where it says more. Show system. Here we are going to go where it says Google Play services. We disable this function. We are going to disable it. Now what we are going to do is restart our device. We are going to wait for our device to restart. 
completely and then we will finish the recovery process. That's why it is always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you don't miss any details and can solve this. These videos, let's wait until it takes us to the beginning. This isn't over yet, the process isn't finished yet. I'm going to explain what we're going to do now to be able to access our device and perform this recovery. Also, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we have several different methods, both with and without a PC. We're going to click next, we're going to click next here. Let's wait. Sometimes the screen freezes. It goes blank. So what we have to do is press volume up and volume down at the same time. We're going to activate tall bad. When we activate tall bad, we're going to press it again. We draw a letter L pointing down and forward, down and forward. Down and forward, down and forward. These are errors that remain on our device. We're going to deactivate tall bad now. Let's deactivate it. Okay, now what we're going to do is deactivate the Wi-Fi network. Let's deactivate that Wi-Fi network. Let's deactivate the network. After the network is deactivated, we're going to click forward. We're going to click forward. It seems that it hasn't been deactivated yet. Now it's deactivated. I've temporarily deactivated it. We go forward. We click here on skip and now when it's here. We go back. We wait for the Wi-Fi network to be enabled. Now that it's enabled, we're going to enter the locked card again with that pin code. We're going to remove it, remove it. Pull down the notifications, go back to calendar. Select calendar, click on deny, go back to settings again. Select settings, click on the three dots. Now click on share. Select Gmail. Click here on skip. Click on enable. We enable Google Play services. We go back. We go back. We go back smoothly. Back. We go forward. We're going to click here on skip, skip. Here we're going to deactivate the Wi-Fi network. We're going to deactivate the Wi-Fi network. We click on forget. Done. Now this option here is enabled. We click on skip. We click on accept. We click on skip. We click here. We click on next. Next, we're going to finish here. But our phone always has some errors left. Look. I'm going to show you the errors that keep happening, like when it freezes. If you see it freezing, we click, 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 and it works. How do we fix these errors so? Our phone gives us access to our device? Let's go down to the settings. If it works, we click the little button that appears here, and then it will take us directly to settings. Once we're in settings, we're going to go to about phone, and then look for the reset option. We re going to reset our phone so that when our phone is completely reset, we'll have a brand new device. Free of any errors.